Hello all, welcome back to another video. This video will showcase a Windows Defender bypass with a Metapreter reverse shell payload. So stay tuned if this is what you are looking for. In today's video, we will take a look at steganography, specifically how we can hide a malicious shellcode payload into an image file and execute it with a loader. This is a perfectly legit cat image file as shown over here. We will be using this to hide our Metapreter shellcode in it. Let's create a backup copy of the image. Now let's take a look at this GitHub repository by Waffles Exploits. This repository contains code to embed our shellcode into the image with a Python script and also some C++ code that will help extract the hidden shellcode and execute it. The repository also contains an article which details the project on a deeper level. I will not be reading off the article so feel free to give it a read at your own time. All credits belong to the author and the references shown will be provided in the video's description. Now let's check out the Python code that will hide our payload shellcode into an image file. If we were to give it a quick glance, it is simply reading off the payload file and the target image file, then combining the bytes together. In theory, we can do this easily with the right arrow output redirection operator on Linux as well. Let's do that instead. First, we will read the shellcode file, then append the data onto the end of the image file like this. If we were to click on the image, we can see that the image is not corrupted and can be viewed normally. This is because the program that is parsing the image knows when to start reading and stop reading based on the image file structure. But of course, the shellcode will not be executed by the program that is responsible for displaying the image. Now let's hop over to our Windows machine and make sure that Windows Defender is updated and enabled. If we were to transfer the image file over to our Windows machine, we can see that it is perfectly fine. Now let's take a look at the code responsible for extracting the shellcode and executing it. There are three of them in the Waffles Exploit repository. We will try out the first basic one, which is simply reading off an image file. Let's copy the code and compile it on our Kali machine. We will need to rename the image file constant to point to our cat image file and also the original image payload size. This will help the program to know which bytes to start extracting at the end of the image file since that is where we have hidden our shellcode. Let's compile the program now. All good. Let's show that Windows Defender is indeed functional by transferring over a Mimikatz binary first. Alright, all good. Now it is time for the actual test. Let's transfer the ABCEXE binary which we have just compiled over to our Windows machine. No detection upon landing on this. That is a good start. Before we execute it, let's not forget to set up a Metapreter listener for the incoming reverse shell. Alright, fingers crossed. Nice, we have successfully bypassed Windows Defender and established a functional Metapreter reverse shell. We can even give it a quick scan and continue running commands on our Metapreter shell. Awesome! 
This is it to today's video. Bypassing Windows Defender with Stagonal Graphy and establishing a functional Metapreter reverse shell. I hope you all have found the video to be useful. If you are interested in learning about hacking a Windows Active Directory domain network environment, here is a playlist available on my YouTube channel where it contains 4 episodes showcasing the attack techniques, tactics and procedures commonly used by an attacker in a Windows domain network Active Directory. It has hands-on technical demonstration of attacks such as Crack Map Exec, Bloodhound, How to Perform Network Pivoting and many others. On my Udemy page, I have a free introductory course that explains the core concept of phishing as well. This course is 100% completely free and it showcases the common approaches and tools to phishing and what attackers aim to achieve in phishing attacks, such as harvesting credentials or convincing a victim to click on a malicious payload. The link to the resources will be provided in the video's description, so be sure to check them out. Here is a quick shout out to everyone who have donated to my channel so far. Thank you and I really appreciate it a lot. All credits belong to the author of the project and all references will be provided in the video's description. Please help to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It will really help out the channel a lot. Thanks all, I appreciate it and I will see you all soon in the next one. Bye!